Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith. My name is Rachel Janice, and today we are day two as we started our um, journey through grace this month. So I hope um, you kind of been thinking about it. I love that we started with the definition of it being an undeserved, unmerited, unearned favor. Um, and it's so I'm, I'm I'm I want I told Brandon that I wanted day two because. I feel like personally that grace is a word that gets thrown around a lot, kind of like love. Um, you know, it's it's a powerful, powerful word, but we're so easy to throw it around and it kind of makes it less powerful by doing that. It's not wrong to do that. I'm just saying it kind of takes away from the power and us really knowing like what is a true definition of grace? How powerful is um, the grace from God? So. I'm glad that we have a whole month to um, kind of learn about it and define it and redefine it um, instead of ways that we've we've heard it in the past and also um, just grow closer to God by knowing how much he loves us through his grace. And so um, today our passage is Romans chapter 5 verse 8. So I'll start by reading that. For everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, with undeserved kindness, declares that we are righteous. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty for our sins. Romans 5, 8. It goes on to say, There's no doubt about it. We've all fallen short. No matter how good we are, we've all messed up and gotten things wrong. Not only have we gotten things wrong, but we've all willfully chosen to do wrong at times. No matter if it was a small, as small as a white lie or as big as a bank robbery, we've made decisions we knew were wrong. That's what sin is. We don't like to be called sinners, nor do we like the consequences of sin. By God's measure, the only just consequence for sin was permanent separation from him forever. But this is where grace came in. God freed us from the penalty of our sins by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to take our place. Instead of punishment, we received righteousness. We didn't and don't deserve it, but grace gave it to us anyway. So it's just such a great reminder of God's grace and that we don't deserve it. Um, we will never deserve it. We didn't deserve it, we don't deserve it, we won't deserve it kind of thing. But through Christ Jesus, he, um, he, you know, he gave us grace anyway. So um, this made me think of a sermon a long time ago. And by a long time ago, I mean a couple years ago. And um, I kind of want, it was kind of a grace one-on-one -on -one moment for me. So I thought I would read the passage that... Um, that kind of helped me understand what grace was. And um, I, my, in doing this, I hope to kind of um, help kind of with our definition of grace to follow through with this month. So I'm not going to give you the whole sermon. I'm just going to give you the two verses and then the cliff notes. Um, so in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 and 5, it says, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Mm, mm, mm. I just love those two verses. So I circled, um, I do, a, I write in my Bible. It probably confuses my kids because I don't let them write in their books, but I always write in my Bible. So I circled three words in these two passages. I circled love, mercy, and grace. And I really think to me, when I think of God, those are the first three words that come to my mind. I think of him as a loving God. I think of him as a God who is rich in mercy. And obviously a God who gives us grace every single day. So, um, so the mercy part is God not giving us what we deserve. So what we do deserve, like we talked about in the devotional today, um, punishment, that was one of the words, separation from him forever, permanent separation from him forever, 
Um, and these are just the things that, you know, that we deserve as sinners. And like it says, we all are. It doesn't matter how big or small your sin is. A sin is a sin. So I think we need to make sure that we know that moving forward in this month. But our God who is rich in mercy, so our God who's not giving us what we deserve, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. So grace is then God giving you, giving us, what we don't deserve. So the forgiveness. So the mercy is God not giving us what we deserve. Not giving us what we deserve. And the grace is God giving me what I don't deserve. So I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it was kind of one of those grace aha moments when I was um, sitting through that sermon. So again, that was um, Ephesians 2, chapter 2, verses 4 and 5. So <clears throat> I hope with this um, passage that we read at, at Romans and then also that those two verses in Ephesians, I hope it kind of helps you move forward this month um, on kind of thinking about your definition of grace and what you've known um, in the past about grace and kind of moving forward this month, um, like I said, I kind of kind of want to redefine grace for some of us. So I hope that helps and make sure that you are receiving, you feel like you're receiving God's grace because you are, and then make sure that we're extending God's grace throughout this month as well. So I hope you all have a blessed day and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.